Then we come down here to the protective supplements. And here we have protective herbs and teas. They're both intended to keep you from getting sick. Because when you kill parasites in an animal, the animal gets sick from having killed the parasite and all the um, deterioration, um, rotting of the dead parasite. It attracts Clostridium bacteria and, uh, and also the de the, what you killed had its own bacteria and viruses and they jump right out of them into you. Wow. So you have two effects of killing parasites that are going to make you sick if you don't protect yourself. And that's why we don't start zapping right on the first day either and doing everything in the project uh, section because this is already enough and you need to protect yourself from this amount already mm -hmm. in, a, in a very advanced case. Otherwise they get detox syndrome and yes, right you just and loaded with too much stuff to handle yes, and yes. you get sick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Lugol's mm -hmm. iodine is very important. This is, this is it mm -hmm. and you give yourself 10 drops uh, because this is 2% uh, iodine or 5% iodine uh, whereas Lugol's is stronger, and there we were using six drops. So now with this new variety <coughs> called Veggie Wash, uh, you give yourself ten drops. And at the same time, it tastes a little better than, than mm -hmm. the original. Mm -hmm. And it tells you here that you do this four times a day. Ten drops four times a day. Yes, mm -hmm. in some water, just a little water like mm -hmm. this, mm -hmm. and that kills salmonellas. Mm -hmm. All the salmonellas uh, are killed with that. Then, of course, if you eat more salmonella, you'll have it again. Yeah. But remember that as a patient, what is making you feel sick is E. coli and salmonella. Mm -hmm. So that's what you have to look out for if you want to stop feeling sick. It isn't the cancer that you have to treat to stop feeling sick. To stop feeling sick, you have to, st be, you have to stop eating E. coli mm. and salmonella and kill the ones you have. Mm -hmm. And we'll do that right here in the okay. next set. Uh, Bacillococcinum is a homeopathic that kills and prevents flu. People don't get very mm -hmm. sick from the flu unless you let it get away from you. Mm -hmm. And to avoid that, we use one tube of it at bedtime. Because mm -hmm. people often can't tell that they're getting the flu. Mm -hmm. Where does the flu come from? It comes from the dead busky parasites. So mm -hmm. you see you have a, 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 a silver lining to getting the flu. Uh -huh. It means that you killed one of the most important parasites. Uh -huh. You killed one of these. Uh -huh. We're full of many parasites in different varieties. But it's mm -hmm. these that we have to kill to get rid of the cancer. And the doctors don't look at people for parasites anymore. I wonder why. No, I mm -hmm. don't know if they ever did. Uh, probably because it's too messy. <laughs> <laughs> and they gave the job to the labs. But the labs did the same thing, dodged this duty, and uh, make all the preparations of whatever you're asked to send them. Nobody ever touches it or even looks at it. It's all uh, going automated through to photography. Now, out of a small sample, you could cover a wall uh, for photography, mm -hmm. and then which part are you going to photograph to find the one or two um, parasites that you have? And or there are many stages that you can identify. And many stages, small, right? Yeah. You can't see them. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a complete misfiring of the mm -hmm. intent of the labs to find your parasites. And of course, maybe um, a complete lack of duty on the part of the doctor. We're looking at here is the um, the herbal treatments. Yeah, the protective yeah. herbs. The protective herbs, and there are many reasons for each one of them. Mm -hmm. It just seems like this. Eucalyptus, balsa, apuzoti, birch bark, and burdock, and reishi. 
so I've got them in a group here so I can talk about them pretty fast. So these are selected to have the biggest coverage of different kinds of uh, cold related or flu related illnesses, coughing, everything respiratory, uh, and at the same time uh, some exotic things uh, like strep G, which you find a lot in cancer patients too, but at a particular organ, not at the systemic level. And also uh, strep pyogenes at, this, at, at the organ level. Maybe there'll be an abscess in a tooth, there always will be, uh, and also in a bone somewhere, and that's really what set, set off the bone cancer. Hmm. So uh, this collection are some of the best herbs that you could ever um, use in a set hmm. to ward off anything. It's just that you have to make sure they are sterilized, namely disinfected, before you eat them, even if you, even if you make tea out of them. The cooking does not kill any E. coli or salmonella that's on the outside. And everything that we eat or touch or take in has E. coli and salmonella on it. Every, wow. Everything we touch, um, we're just coated with it. And uh, everything we touch or handle or make or give has, has E. coli and salmonella on it. And those few bugs that you get that way by brushing your teeth, just putting the toothbrush in your mouth, just, just putting your finger in your mouth is too much for an advanced cancer patient. Wow, so they should never touch their tablets or pills never, when they take them? Never, They Always should put them in the lid or something put it in the lid and then or, just or throw them in your mouth. Right? Keep your fingers out of the action. Unless you wear and the hands, you should, uh, when, you, when you're in the bathroom, uh, you should wash your hands and give it a little alcohol spray, making sure that you're not using isopropyl alcohol uh, contamination. Grain alcohol use, or cane use alcohol. genuine Everclear alcohol that uh, doesn't have those things. Mm -hmm. It's expensive, but you don't have to make it uh, strong. You uh -huh. can dilute it very much with water. Uh -huh. So, so this is the collection here, eucalyptus, and it says uh, one cup of the eucalyptus tea or one capsule times three daily. Mm -hmm. So if you're using a capsule, it's very concentrated, uh, but if you're making tea, you're losing some of its power. Nevertheless, it's a very nice flavorful tea that you can get out of eucalyptus. Mm -hmm. Bone set is very powerful against all kinds of colds. This is bone set. And epizote is especially good for flu, that is against flu. You can knock out a flu in a day by taking epizote, let's say, six times. Mm -hmm. uh, but here you don't have to take it six times, you're expected to take it three times because altogether they have much better coverage than if you were just using one. Then there's birch bark, which is not encapsulated yet, and therefore you make tea out of it. And it's very pleasant. And that's a cold paper. fighter too? Uh, uh, all kinds of things. Uh, colds, yes, but, but E. coli. All kinds of exotic, uh, more, more unusual bacteria will be killed by this. Mm -hmm. It will even bring your mental facilities, faculties back. Burdock uh, is particularly good for both salmonella and uh, E. coli. This is burdock. Again, if you haven't sterilized them, that means that you're eating something to kill flu and salmonella and E. coli and at the same time eating a batch of it. And so how do you sterilize it? Uh, we have several ways. The easiest way is to plunk them in a bag, all in a deep freezer uh, that goes down to minus 20 degrees Fahrenheit. 
Huh. How long? If possible, 24 mm. hours. I haven't yet tried the new freezers that are out, the new little chest freezers that go to minus 20, and I haven't yet finished the experiment that says how long. Uh -huh. So you just put them in there, and then if you were a tester, of course you could test to see if the E. coli and salmonella was out of it. Those are mm -hmm. the only two that you really have to look out for. That's mm -hmm. what's making you sick. And that's one way to sterilize it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Another way is to ozonate it. You can ozonate it, say, for 10 minutes. In the capsules? Uh, no, I don't know if, if you could ozonate the capsules. No. Just the tea. I mean, make the tea uh, and ozonate just, the tea? Uh, uh, just the bulk tea. Uh -huh. Or the made tea. Uh -huh. so, so you would take the bulk tea and, and put it in a container and put the ozonator hose in the, in the plastic bag and ozonate it that way? Or? Yes, you could uh, keep it in its original bag and just put, uh, put the hose in. Uh -huh. It'll penetrate. Do it for five minutes no, or I something? No, I do it for ten. Ten minutes? Uh -huh. Nine or and, ten. And you could use a UV light as well? Uh, yes, but the UV one. light doesn't um, doesn't penetrate um, loose, dry vegetable parts very well. Uh -huh. That's the most difficult for it. Uh -huh. Rice and beans uh, and things like herbs like this are the hardest to to sanitize with UV light. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, um, uh, a sonicator would work. Several things that I've discussed in the past would work. Mm -hmm. And if you have none of those things, then don't take them. It's better not to make yourself sicker. If you made that a, means you can't start. Um, yeah, if you made a tea and put uh, blue galls in it. Uh, yes, uh, you could, you do, could that. do that. You could make a tea and put some Lugols in it, mm -hmm. uh, let's say 10 drops for two cups. Mm -hmm. uh, you might, um, that would be a, a good way. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if you change the flavor a bit, because mm -hmm. you're getting the essentials that you need out of it. Uh, and then reishi mushroom. And reishi is another one of these very uh, useful things for even exotic um, kinds of bugs like strep G and, uh, uh, and possibly mycoplasmas and, and mm. so on. Then comes the turmeric and fennel. And there you need a lot of each one. Instead of many kinds, you're using a lot of each one. Mm -hmm. Turmeric. Here's the fennel. And here's the turmeric. Again, everything has to be sterilized. And you can open them up and make a tea if you want to. You can mix them if you want to. But um, if you make a tea, you will lose a little of the, of the strength of it. And uh, the, the turmeric and fennel is specifically good for E. coli. Mm -hmm. 